Welcome learners. We are going to uh, discuss the unit one of your sales and retailing management BBA program uh, fifth semester. We have discussed in part one of this unit about uh, sales management definition, objectives and types of selling. In this uh, small video, we shall take up some other portions of that particular unit and this portion we shall take up for discussion that after going through this particular video through that particular unit you should be able to explain the role and functions of sales managers we have discussed in part one that sales management is basically management of the personal selling function and what is personal selling function Personal selling function is basically recruiting, selecting, equipping, assigning, routing, supervising, motivating, hmm, compensation, payment of the sales force. So what are the basic role and functions of sales managers? There are some other aspects also. We shall try to explore those other aspects. As it was indicated in the definition of American Marketing Association, the sales managers recruit Sales manager select, sales manager train sales people and they provide them reasonable goals and motivate them to get the results. Sales managers coordinating, coordinate personal selling operations with other marketing functions, specifically role of sales manager, management. So sales managers have to recruit the sales people. So there you may think about that, what is the distinction between recruitment and selection? You see, recruitment is a prior step before selection. Recruitment is inviting applications. Selection is offering the appointment. We have selected so and so. Recruitment is we are having inviting applications. We are having recommendations. So we are having all those. So we shall process those things. Then we shall contact interview. Then we shall make the selection. So recruitment is a prior step before selection. So sales managers will have to recruit. If we cannot recruit, then we will not be able to select good candidate, is not it? So recruitment is important. After recruitment, selection is important because the quality of sales people will determine the quality of selling efforts, is not it? So sales managers will have to recruit will have to attract the persons to the company, will have to select the right person for the right job at the right time for the right place. Then they will have to be trained about the company, about the products, about the customers, about competition, how to approach the customers. They have been selected, they have been trained. Now that they will have to be given reasonable goals, attainable goals. If you give them a very lofty goal, they will not be able to achieve it. And if you give them very low goal, they will not be, they will not feel motivated. They will achieve it. And in that case, we will be having only ideal capacity. Is not it? So we need, after giving them the sales goals, we need to motivate them so that we can achieve the results. So this is what sales managers will have to ensure. At the same time, the sales managers will have to coordinate this personal selling efforts with other marketing functions. Suppose in an organization, the marketing research is there. So the marketing research people might be interested in knowing about the, what is happening in the market. So that information will have to be provided by the sales people because they are the linking, right? They are the linkages with the market, the company and the market. The linkage is established by the company sales people. So sales managers will have to coordinate the personal selling operations with other marketing functions like say marketing research, even advertisement, you know, sales promotion that at what time the discount, gift, coupons, lottery, etc. should be launched. If we give this, how that will be coordinated by the sales force in the field level. So this requires coordination. We just cannot see sales management in isolation. So if you are asked that describe the role of sales management, then you will have to answer in this way. That sales managers were the basic functions, recruitment, selection, training, motivation, compensation. And then the second part is the sales managers, not only management of the sales force, they will have to establish the coordination with other marketing functions of the company. So what are the functions of sales managers? 
sales planning and budgeting. Say you are Mr. So and so, you are having a sales territory, you cannot cover the entire sales territory, so you will divide your sales territory, you are the area manager, so you will divide your area into certain uh, say territory sales representatives, Mr. Y, Mr. Z, right, like that. So Mr. X will be having this target, Mr. Y will be having this target, Mr. Z will be having this target. So you will have to plan their targets, you will have to plan their quotas. Then you will have to budget that in order to achieve these sales, what are the type of expenditure that they will have to incur. So sales planning and budgeting. Then this sales planning and budgeting, you cannot just do it in hands. You will, this needs to be backed up by the overall estimation of the demand. So estimation of the demand and forecasting sales based on the demand that this could be the demand level of the customers based on this demand. Right? The sales in this particular territory would be like this. For a new product, the demand may not be that high. For an established product, the demand is already high. So for the established product, as a sales manager, the sales manager is required to maintain the demand. But for a new product, the sales managers will have to will be required to increase the demand. To increase the demand for the new product, to increase the awareness for the new product, because many people know, may not know about the new product. So estimating demand and forecasting sales. Then determining the size and structure of sales organization. Say for a national level marketing organization, say India. So what could be the size and the structure of the sales organization? One could be say zonal manager, northern zone, India, eastern zone, western zone, southern zone. Within the zones, there could be area manager. Suppose within eastern zone, there could be a zonal manager, say area manager for Bihar, area manager for Odisha, area manager for the northeastern states. Under the area manager, suppose for Assam, there is one territory manager, say Manipur and Mizoram together, another territory manager, Ouna Sarpotes and Nagaland, suppose another territory manager, we are having say three to four territory managers. Under those territory managers, there could be the territorial sales representatives, say one representative will say Lower Assam, another is in say Upper Assam, another is in say Barak Valley. So what could be the structure of the sales organization? Territory representatives, area manager, zonal manager, like that. Then recruiting, selecting and training of the sales people at all these levels so that we can achieve the sales objectives at least possible cost so that we can contribute towards the growth potential and the profit potential of the company. That is basically the no, basic essence of sales management. That is basically the main requirement, main function of the sales manager. Continuing it further, they will have to allocate the sales force approach and setting sales quotas. Say territory sales representatives of say Assam, he will give us a sales of say 5 crores. Territory sales representatives of say Orunachal Pradesh and Nagaland, he will give us a sales target of say 4 crores. So someone may be given, it may not be uniform that everyone will get 5 crores sales target. It will depend upon the market potential, it will depend upon the, suppose in Assam, Guwahati Metro is there. So Guwahati itself will ke absorb a lot of demand and Guwahati itself will also cater to the other northeastern states. So other northeastern states, so sales target could be less. So compared to Guwahati, reaching the in different parts of Manipur, different parts of Nagaland will require more of efforts, more, will require more travel time. So the sales manager or the zonal manager will see all these intricacies, logistics, geographical terrain, you know, transportation possibilities and accordingly they will fix the sales quotas. Then they will have to compensate, they will have to give them salary, they will have to give them incentives, they will have to motivate them, they will have to lead them together, they will have to have the conferences to discuss the things and then they will have to be evaluated also. Whether someone could achieve the sales target or not, say for Assam representative, the sales target was 5 crores but he has not been able to achieve this. Why? So there was a very uh, flood. There was some flood. Right? There could be some natural digesters. Or suppose the sales could be exceeded also. Say so it was estimated that 5 crores. The sales was achieved at 6 crores. Why? Suppose the government declared a dearness allowance and the people got areas. So purchasing power increased. So demand increased. And then 
will have to monitor the overall marketing environment. These territory managers will have to give the information about the market, how the market is moving, what the competitors are doing. They are basically, as I have told you, they are the basic links of the company and the market. They will have to give continually required information, relevant information, reliable information to the marketer. So these are the basic functions of sales managers. So dear learners, hope you have been able to understand the role and functions of sales manager. So if you are asked to answer a question that describe the functions of sales managers, you can describe the functions of sales managers in terms of these headings and then you can give a brief explanation of this. Thank you.